So, this is the person I was talking about in yesterday's video. Hello? Hello? So what's the problem between you and Matt? Because I have to fix this. The problem is that he's a fucking asshole that came at me with a lock and sock, and there is no fucking fixing this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Hello? What's up? What's up with you? So, how, how about it? How about what? Target field, 2 o'clock. You? Me. Sorry, I don't hit animals. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Target field, 2 o'clock. Sorry. I don't hit animals. You're funny. You're funny. I'd take you any day. Wouldn't be a problem. At all. Hey, I'm not the one starting shit. You and him are contacting me. I told both of you to leave me alone. So piss off. You hear me, Well, I got you in tune, man. I'm getting to you. I was just calling you. I, I just put some boots you One pair of pants later. So, um, I did not get a chance to, uh, pull my camera out earlier today because, oh, well, quite frankly, I didn't want to, uh, deal with this. My neighbor that keeps bothering me has been following me around for I do not know how long. I've been telling this person every time I see them that I do not want to talk, that I do not want them to come to me to talk to me, I do not want any interaction with this person, and I've been telling this person that every time they come up to me, and they keep bothering me. Today they were following me around um, a store as I was shopping, begging me for money. Now I don't mind helping out when I can. But I have told this person multiple times that I do not have money on my person. I do not carry cash at all. And now this person is stalking me and I wound up spending the last, let's see, I had a doctor's appointment at two. I got out of the doctor's appointment at three. So basically, uh, I went out shopping Got home at about 1, maybe 1.30 at the latest. Spent time trying to figure out how to go about doing what I need to do for what happened with this person because they were bothering me when I was out shopping. And this person doesn't take no as an answer, which depending on the situation can be good, can be bad, I don't know. Um, offhand, uh, what counts as good, what counts as bad, but this person does not know what no means. And was bothering me while I was out shopping, and then wound up doing all that stuff. I got home probably about 1.30ish at the latest, and, uh, got ready for the, uh, trying to figure out what to do. Um, I spent from about 3.30, so basically, ugh, let me get all this straight. I went out, stopped it somewhere to pick some stuff up to eat today. This guy shows up, follows me into the store, starts begging me, following me around the store. Hey, 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 give me money. Hey, give me money. And I turn to him and I just flat out say, hey, I said I don't want to talk to you. Leave me the fuck alone. Right when I do that, I turn around and see a security guy. This is a security guard, right? Paul Blart type. Walking around the corner, sees me saying that to this guy. My neighbor leaves me alone after that. I can see him eyeing me up and down, right? I get home about 1.30ish, 
go to my doctor's appointment at 2 the whole time trying to figure out what to do with what's been happening. Go to my doctor's appointment, get back home about 3.30ish, and um, spend from 3.30 to 5.30ish on the phone being transferred from police precinct to police precinct, trying to figure out how to get um, an officer to come out so I can basically just get some sort of no contact order. Finally about 5.30ish, like 5.15, 5.30. An officer says, all right, fine, we'll send somebody out to your uh, residence. And that was about 5.15ish. We'll s they say, we'll send somebody out. You can file that no contact order. We'll give you a call, or we'll have that officer give you a call when they show up. That was about 5.30, 5.15, It is now 6.50 p.m. No contact from the officer. I've already felt... Before now, I've already felt that this person was going to break into my apartment with me there and try and beat the shit out of me. Or, you know, I guess, try to beat the shit out of me is a good description of it. Add on to the fact that this guy was following me around while I was out shopping today. I'm feeling unsafe with this dumbass. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I tried not getting the cops involved, quite frankly, just because I don't trust the cops right now after everything and now I have to deal with this idiot just stalking me now there have been two instances where I've had to deal with something like this in the past the more recent issue that I had was with somebody named dog boy who you might or uh who you may or may not remember from my videos if you've been following me for a while. But this person, uh, named, I'm nicknamed Dog Boy. The reason I nicknamed him Dog Boy is something I'll get to after this. My first interaction with this person nicknamed Dog Boy, I was in the shelter. This person, Dog Boy, comes up behind me. I can hear him over everybody else. But he was pretending to sneak up behind me swinging a, a lock that he put in aside a sock and he was wanting to use it as a weapon to beat me over the head for no reason never had any interaction with this guy before that but he was trying to knock me out with a lock and a sock for no reason this guy follows me around he's made threat after threat after threat to me all because i told him i didn't want to talk to him and the reason i call him dog boy is because he has stolen three dogs from people and claimed that he was going to steal another one and threat and threatened to, to sick this non-existent dog on everybody for no reason. And this guy wound up bringing a loaded gun into the shelter, which should have been taken away from him. But the shelter didn't do their job correctly. But this guy brought a loaded gun into the shelter and had it taken away after he was in the shelter. Because he was dumb enough to make a threat with the gun. And this person was basically stalking me the same way the neighbor is right now. The only other issue I've had with anyone was back about 10 years ago with my last apartment. Some dumbass that I used to work with wound up pretending to be my friend, stalked me all the time, tried getting me to buy him a $2,000 TV, just out of nowhere, and then wound up... Um, he was basically saying, oh yeah, this, that, and the other about how I collect, uh, he collected weapons and bragged about it. And this person, he basically s said stuff that implied that he looked up to a, uh, mass shooter. Like somebody wound up getting pissed off that their girlfriend broke up with him, wound up going to their girlfriend's work and shooting, shot up the place. And this guy looks up to that guy, uh, the guy that wound up doing that. So, let's just say that I, I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, crazy seems to be attracted to me. And I'm just trying to mind my own business. I'm just trying to do what I need to do and get my shit done. It's people like this that make me not want to talk to people. And now I have to deal with somebody stalking me and harassing me. And I'm feeling unsafe around this guy. 
and I'm trying to get the cops here to get a no contact order because this guy doesn't seem to realize that me saying I don't want to talk to you and I want nothing to do with you, me saying that means I don't want to talk to you and I don't want to deal with you and it's getting annoying and I'm feeling unsafe with this guy around. I don't care who this guy is. I want my own safety. I want my own security. I want to be left alone when I'm not doing anything. And if I say leave me alone, that does not mean keep bothering me. If I say I don't want to talk to you ever, that means I don't want to talk to you ever. That does not mean come up to me and talk to me. If you ask me for money and I say, what am I supposed to do? Pull it out of my ass? That does not mean keep asking me for money. It means stop asking me for money. It means I don't have money. Stop asking. One frozen wasteland later. So I just got a call from the cops. I spent, what, two hours on the cops, give or take, from about 3.15 to 5.30-ish. I waited until about 8.30. No cops showed up. I called back because I was, I called earlier to try and get a cop to get a no contact order, right? And this is something that I was told that I could do through the police department that I apparently did back last year with this guy called Dog Boy, which I think I covered that earlier in the video. But here's the thing. I called back to report that. The, per the person that, that I called said, oh, no report was filed before. So I spent two hours on the phone for nothing. And I then requested that an officer be sent out a second time, even though none showed up the first time. I get a call just after nine o'clock. Oh yeah, um, there's no cops on duty. Even if there were, we can't do what you requested here because A, there's n no cops on duty. B, even if there were, your request is not important. That aside, your previous no contact order was not even put in the system, even though I got a case number for the no contact order for Dog Boy. And, well, let's just say, Gee, I wonder why nobody trusts the cops. It's because the cops aren't doing shit. Regardless of whether there are cops on or not, they're still not doing what they are supposed to be doing. I feel unsafe around this motherfucker. I felt unsafe around Dog Boy. And now I know that nobody's fucking doing shit and that I don't matter to the cops. The only thing that I feel like I can laugh at is the fact that the officer thought I was a woman. Even though they pulled up my ID and saw that it says male on my ID. In all honesty, I want to believe that the cops are out there for good. I want to believe that the cops are out there to help out. But if every cop I talk to tells me a different story and basically says, Oh, hey, um, we can't help you. And then when something happens, they say, well, you should have reported it to us after I spent two hours on the phone reporting it and then an additional three hours waiting for a cop to show up only to hear, oh hey, fuck you. I don't want to take this into my own hands and defend myself, but I feel like that's my only course of action because there's no fucking cops that are willing to help. I'm trying my best to deal with this. I have my own life to live. I don't want to have to live my life worrying about some other dumbass attacking me. And that's what's going to fucking happen. With the track record that I have, that is what's going to happen. The only thing that was on file when the cop, because the cop obviously had my file pulled up, the only thing that was on file was a report I made against somebody that wound up getting pissed off at the bus driver, following me off the bus, and attacking me. That's the only thing that was on file. Not my report against Dog Boy. Not my multiple reports against Dog Boy. Not a damn thing. 
The apartment obviously ain't doing shit about this. Otherwise, the dude would have fucking stopped. Cops just blatantly f told me, fuck you, we're not doing shit. Their exact words are, we don't have any cops on duty, and the ones that are on duty are out responding to other people, not you. Because your call is not important. I'm trying to stop this shit before something happens. Not have to fucking deal with a headache of trying to get the cops over here after something happens. Only to have them argue with me. I am sick of this. It's 9.30 now. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to be level-headed on this. I just do not know what to do. Well, when I was out earlier, I did not pick up stuff for dinner. Now, I have ramen at home, but I do not want to eat ramen if I can help it. I'm going to the only place that's open right now, Bobby and Steve's, and I am picking up some food for tonight and probably for tomorrow morning. That is assuming they haven't changed their hours or anything. Well, I'm out. It's kind of busy in there, so I just didn't... I didn't really feel comfortable filming in there with how crowded it was. But I uh, got me some chicken, potatoes, energy drinks, and um, a hot sauce flavored pickle. <sighs> I'm just hoping I make it through the rest of the night without any issues. I just... First off, first off, um, tomorrow, movie day, I'm going to be providing the computer, I'm going to be providing the movies, somebody else is going to be providing the... Uh, projector soundbar thing. So yeah, there's that. The movie that's being provided is... Uh, the movie that was decided on is Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? So uh, it's going to be a bunch of people. Um, I don't... or it's going to be a few people, I should say. I don't know how many people, but there's going to be some people there. I'm still going to try and get as much footage as I can, but I doubt I'm going to get any footage during the uh, movie thing. I'm in the process of downloading the movie now. It is 1 a.m. pretty much. Long story short, movie day. And we're trying to get out during the day. Provide the movie for the movie thing. All that stuff. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I'm going to get something hopefully. On that note, I did see the first episode of season 4 of Stranger Things. It was good. I wonder what's going to happen the rest of the season, but the first episode was pretty darn good.